Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Minecraft. That's right, folks, we're back in our vanilla world doing all the cool vanilla things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. Uh, couple of things today I want to work on. Uh, it has been a couple of days since we uh, have done a vanilla episode because there's been some very cool uh, advancements in modded Minecraft. So the Enigmatica 5 series is back and we also started a series called All of Fabric. Uh, we're doing the All of Fabric 3 mod pack which is a fabric launcher mod pack and uh, I'm really enjoying that but uh, I'll, uh, I'll always have a place in my heart for vanilla so there's a couple of things I want to work on today in vanilla um, number one I think the iron farm is broke I have been I was over here at the uh, at, at this guy at the guy who does the grindstone thing whatever blacksmith I guess I guess blacksmith um, because all of my iron storage is in the back room there and I noticed that I'm not getting a lot of iron not getting any iron as a matter of fact so i'm not sure exactly why that uh if you guys have any ideas what the cause of not have oops, oh like uh what the cause it would might be for not getting any iron i would love to hear that um it's still working like the you know we still got the zombie we still got the villagers the villagers still have a bed they still have valid workstations and all of that um but I think there were some spawning changes, some rule changes in uh, in how villagers call for iron golems in 116. So we'll have to take a look at that. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of diagnosis on it today, but I wanted to bring it to you guys' attention because uh, that is our main source of iron. Now, don't get me wrong. We have, <laughs> we have a fair bit uh, of iron back here. This is all... Uh, oh, that's right. I moved it. I moved all the iron. Um, where did I move the iron to? Did I move it over here? I might have moved it over here. Uh, eat. Uh, yeah. Let's go over. Valid place. Um, here. There. Did I put all my iron? Wait a minute. It's in crossbow. Lock of iron. Ah, yeah. Okay. So all of my iron is in these two, uh, shulkery shulker boxes. And uh, there's a lot of it. Like, those are both full of iron blocks. Mostly full of iron blocks. So, I have a lot of iron right now. So, I'm not in too much of a worry, too much of a hurry to get that fixed. But we are going to have to get it fixed. And then the other thing that I want to work on today, and this is what the this is what the main project for today is going to be. We have a lot of unfinished buildings around here. Like, this one's unfinished. Uh, this one is finished. That one is unfinished because that needs to be at least a couple, three or four more stories tall. Uh, and 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 we need to have more buildings like that one. I already started laying out the uh, quote unquote the foundation for the other two uh, smeltable farms. Like we in the last episode, we put this guy together, and uh, <clears throat> it's working swimmingly. This is amazing. This works really well. Um, so we got blast furnaces, and they're all full of uh, uh, free of. Uh, bamboo for fuel and we want to do that again so we want to have a, we want to have two more of these this one here it because it's blast furnaces this one here is just for um uh, just for smeltables like uh, iron and gold and then the ones next to it we're going to put in smokers and also another regular furnace so that we can smelt down food items like pork chops and beef and chicken and all that although we do have the chicken cooker eh, chicken maybe not um, and then the last one will probably be for other smeltables, like making smooth stone, like that. Um, but in order to build all of this, we need more, uh, we need more materials. And right now, my main source of materials for all of this is, uh, is villagers. And so over here, we have a villager trading area. <laughs> I use that term loosely. Uh, a villager trading area that we built a long time ago, just a long time ago, right? And, uh, and these guys, I mean, these guys are great. You can get bricks from them regularly. But I was thinking, you know, since we're developing a city here, like, wouldn't it be cool? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, wouldn't it be cool along here to, uh, to put in another building, like right in here or maybe over there on the other side or something like that? Um, 
where we had like a building supply company, right? And then all of the villagers that we need that have building supplies, like uh, like the stone cutters, they could work, quote unquote, in that building, and that would be where we would go to get all of, all of our building material, like bricks, like andesite and and granite uh, and stuff like that. And I think that that would be a really cool thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout around for a uh, another location. I'm going to take a nap because that's important. Uh, but I'm going to scout around for another location where we can build uh, a building supply store. And, uh, and then go ahead and get into a time lapse where we uh, put that building together. Sound like a plan to you? Sounds like a wonderful plan to me. So hope you enjoy the time lapse. Okay, live stream over. Had a great time with y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well in the time lapse format. But uh, here's the building that we've come up with. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I like this. In the stream, everybody kept saying that it looked like a manga face. Uh, we needed to put little like blue and black eye, uh, glass panes in there to give it eyeballs. Um, <clears throat> maybe, possibly. Uh, we might try that still. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can do a, a nice little like awning over the entrance way and and be able to you know to be able to to hang lights from it and all that and, and have it look like something cool because you know trap doors they oh apparently you can't do that <laughs> okay fine that's fine be that way if you would like to um but yeah i'm not 100 percent sold on this and it might just be it might just be the diorite that's making it look weird because you know on bigger on bigger buildings like these and like that and like that over there um, and that over there, it, it looks, it, it doesn't look out of place, but over here on these shorter buildings, maybe it does. Cause I'm not even a hundred percent sure I'm sold on it over there. Um, but now these windows over here on the side, these, uh, these smaller, uh, one by however length is appropriate for the wall space. Those are better, uh, with the exception of maybe that one back there. I'm not sure if that one's going to work out right or not. Uh, but what we need to do next is we need to kind of do a little bit of decorating of uh, of how these things are, are going to look or how these things are going to be uh, kind of arranged. Um, and so what I was kind of thinking, if we take some bricks, uh, if we also take some stone brick, my inventory is absolutely jacked, like absolutely jacked. Um, put that in there, put that in there. I've been killing mobs and doing all kinds of things. So, uh, also we could put in, well, no, I don't think I want to do, well, I could do, okay. So this is supposed to be a building supply store, right? We could do, uh, like stonework type stuff. We could also put in wood. I don't think any of the villagers trade for wood, but we could also put in some like wood storage over here as well. 
uh, in the form of uh, like logs or, or, or planks. I'm thinking maybe planks. If I do, I don't have a whole lot. Well, I've got, I've got some. Yeah, you know what? Okay, let's do that. Let's get a little bit of this. Do some of those. Do -do -do. And some of those. And then one, two, three, four. Kind of like that. Um, and then we have, should we have? Yeah, we do have. Uh, we have some of these. Uh, we could do something like this. If we start piling things up, like back here in the back, let's do... Let's do a little bit of logs. Uh, I, this is something that I learned from uh, something that I saw B double O do uh, in his Let's Play. So if we do something like that, get rid of this. Uh, not his Let's Play, but on his Hermitcraft episode. So we've got logs that we could do, uh, and then on top, uh, next to the logs, we could also do like uh, we could also do planks, uh, sort of like this. And then if we did something like half slabs sort of like this um, and then mm, yeah go like this and then like this get rid of get rid of this I'm trying to I'm trying to tr to figure this out in my head as as to what would look nope not like that <laughs> not, not that one that's not the right one uh, something like this you know how sometimes you go into a lumber supply store and some of the two by fours are are kind of off from each other right so we do something a little bit like that that might look neat uh, or just do this and get rid of this one down here that might be okay too. Possibly. And then, you know, have like a pile of bricks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. You know, like a little pile of bricks out here and then do the same thing for, uh, for stone brick. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Something kind of sort of like that. And just have little piles of things outside to designate, you know, what this place is quote unquote selling. And then inside, of course, we'll have our, our masons uh, and they'll have their workstations and all that. And then we'll be able to come in and get our, our bricks and, and whatever else, quartz. And oh, that's something else we should probably put in. I do have, uh, I do have some quartz. We were trying different things out for the tops of these little fence uh, columns. And uh, one of the people in stream suggested quartz, and uh, we tried it. It didn't look quite right. You know what? I need to change this a little bit, too, because uh, symmetry is a thing. <laughs> uh, so if we go like that, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. And then, like, right in here, go kind of two in between. <gasps> Something kind of like that, I guess. You know, just little piles of things that you can get from all of the villagers um, so that we can kind of get a, get a good idea of what... And actually, I'm not so sure I'm fond of this as well. We'll try some different lumbers in here as well. But yeah, that's kind of looking cool. We'll probably have to change up some of the gravel out here because I don't know that it would be all gravel. Like, we could put in... Uh, we could try to do something like this as well. Give me... No, not that, not that, not that, not that. Sorry. So we'll do... Uh, just kind of pick out little spaces. And maybe even cobblestone would look good in here as well, but that that already helps. Oops. Yeah, that already helps. So yeah, anything that you can do to give your uh, to give your your floors or whatever texture and color. Like I might even do some stuff in here like change out uh, some of the, oh, you know what I have? I have some spruce wood. And spruce wood, the spruce wood planks kind of look like dirty wood. So we could do, is that spruce wood or is that jungle wood? That's jungle wood. Now that might be okay too. You know what? That might be just fine. Uh, let's do that and do that. And then go in here and put some of those down as well, right? That might help out as well. So go ahead and uh, these are just slabs so I didn't have a whole lot of wood a whole lot of oak so I wanted to 
kind of spread it out a little bit. So I had to use, I had to use, uh, had to use slabs. Uh, but anyway, so now we'll swap those out with these. Yeah. Is it getting to be nighttime or is it just me getting paranoid? It might just be me getting paranoid. Yeah, that gives it a little bit of character, a little bit of color, a little bit of flash, a little bit of charisma. I kind of like it. Um, so <laughs> now comes the hard part. The hard part is going to be getting our villagers over here and also mob proofing this. Um, these lights are cool, but they give off less light than a standard uh, than a standard light would, a standard lantern. Like these light levels, I think, are ten, and the um, and the light levels from uh, from a normal lantern are are full power or uh, sixteen. So. Um, yeah, that's better. I like that. I like that. That looks good. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to get uh, started bringing some villagers over here, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to make some progress before the uh, for the next part of the clips. Cool. <laughs> Okay, villagers all moved, uh, finishing up on a few of the uh, decorative kind of things. I need some item frames. I'm probably going to need some more item frames. That'll give me 10 altogether. I've got one, two, three, four tables. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just doing quick math in my head. So that's 16. I'm going to need probably, probably 10 more item frames. Probably 10 item frames all together, and that should do. So that's five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. Maybe. Could be, possibly. Uh, so, yeah, so let's do some item frames. Oh, oh, math. My math skills are stellar. Um, cool. Uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and head back on over there. I think that's everything that I need. Yeah, I think so. Um, let's go ahead and head back over there uh, and uh, give you guys an idea of what we're looking at. And there it is. Uh, so I did do a little bit of work. Uh, to the outside, uh, also used uh, minecart tracks to get my villagers over here. So here is the new style. It does not look like a manga face anymore, and I'm happy about that because honestly, I couldn't deal with big blue and black eyes. I just I couldn't. It wasn't going to happen. Uh, but anyway, inside, look at what we've done. Look at what we've got here. We've got some villagers in here, and they are and they have workstations. But we do need to uh, we do need to set them free. Uh, so yeah. Yep, that's cool. And yep, cool. And yep, that's cool. And you, yes, please. So now we have four villagers in here, and they are absolutely, uh, absolutely free to do anything they want as long as it's behind this counter. Uh, and they should be in places where I can get to them no matter what. And nothing should be able to get into them. So I've hung some, uh, some uh, iron bars from chains in here. And also put these iron trap doors on top of their <clears throat> quote unquote counter. Um, so no baby zombie should be able to get in there or anything like that. I did notice that my one uh, loom guy, my one uh, my one weaver or whatever he was that was over at the wool farm, he died. I, he's not around anymore. So I'm guessing a baby zombie got to him. I'm guessing. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, these guys are super cool. So. Uh, so we can get bricks from them, we can get uh, uh, chiseled stone bricks, we can get some terracotta, we can get quartz, uh, stuff like that. So what I'd like to do first, and uh, somewhere around here, uh, in here, I think it's in here, yeah, so, um, ooh, excuse me, a little burp there. Uh, this is all stuff that I got from a raid. Uh, I fended off a raid and got some cool stuff. Um, so I'd like to, for the bargain basement price of, of one emerald, I'd like to get some bricks uh, because I want to put all of the items that I normally will get from villager trading into uh, into the item frames, right? So I'm going to put these item frames down like this. So these are going to be like display tables, yeah? And that should leave four more, yeah? Perfect. Uh, also hit some light underneath the, uh, the brown carpet. So, you know, if you've ever been into like a, a you know, like a mom and pop... Uh, building supply store, you know, it's 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 kind of rustic. It's kind of it looks like it's been around for a while. 
Uh, it looks like it's got, you know, little dirty spots on the floor. You know, I'm not saying that they that they don't take care of their businesses. It's just, you know, the nature of the business. You're dealing with building materials. People come in with muddy boots, blah, blah, blah. You know, things like that happen. And uh, and it is what it is. So, you know, it's got little dirty, little dirty spots on the floor. But underneath the dirty spots on the floor is lighting so that we shouldn't get any mob spawns in here. Uh, also, outside, I put in some... Uh, some like uh, parking lot lights kind of sort of so uh, this has all got to go away uh, the rails are here to keep mobs from wandering in hopefully that'll work uh, if it doesn't that's fine they should still be protected and I'm also gonna put rails here I got a rail here so that nothing can get underneath the trapdoor and all that and it, it should be good uh, that way I can get back there if I need to do maintenance and whatever um, and they and they shouldn't be able to get out but, uh, but yeah we got parking lot lights out here we got piles of cobblestone we've got piles of wood we got piles of stone brick we got piles of quartz piles of regular brick uh, we have a bed apparently they sell beds here um, but uh, but I want to get in here and I want to see about a couple of the other items that we might be interested in uh, in buying from them, like blocks of quartz. I definitely want to get a block of quartz. Uh, I just want one of those, please and thank you. Just one. That'd be fine. Uh, and we're going to put that... Uh, We'll put that right there, I guess. And and as we go through these, we'll figure out which ones we really like and which ones we don't. Like this this white glazed terracotta, that actually intrigues me a little bit. Uh, so we're going to take one of those. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to use the white glazed terracotta. What are you standing on? Oh, you're standing on that. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. You just do what you do, man. You just do what you do. Uh, we'll put this right there. Uh, what else do we have? So you have blue glazed terracotta. That could be an interesting block that we could use later later days. Uh, and since that's a terracotta, that can go there. Uh, quartzy quartz. That's more quartz. Uh, purple terracotta. Would we have a use for purple terracotta? It's possible. It's possible. We might need to get some more emeralds. Uh, what do you got? You've got this lime terracotta and glazed terracotta and lime terracotta. I'm not super sure I'd be interested in that, but I am going to take one of these quartz pillars uh, and we'll put the quartz pillar over here on this table, right? Uh, what else can we get from these guys? Is there any way to get... Do they sell... Do you guys sell andesite or diorite? You do sell polished andesite, so that could be a thing that we might want. Um... Because andesite is... Now, I did learn something today. And maybe you guys knew this also. You can actually make andesite. Like, let's take a look at that real quick. I think I think this is in good condition. I think we're good here. I'll, I'll go through it. I'll make sure that there's other items, if there's other items that I want to put down uh, on, the, uh, on the display tables. But there is something that I want to see here real quick. I want to see if I got this correct. You can get... You can get andesite by mixing diorite and stone. So let's do this, and let's do this. I just saw, I was just watching an Etho episode, and I think this is what he did. Uh, boom, boom, and boom, boom. No, maybe it was cobblestone. It might've been cobblestone. Let's go upstairs and get some cobblestone. Uh, diorite, polished diorite. No, not polished diorite. There's a way. I'm sure there's a way. Huh. Maybe I'm wrong, but I saw him do it in an episode, and I want to remember how I, what, I, what I saw him do. Perhaps it was... Perhaps it was cobblestone? Perhaps? <gasps> andesite. <gasps> you mix cobblestone and diorite to get andesite. Oh, baby. Yes, I am totally going to do that because I am always running out of andesite. But now that I know that I can do that, that's a bonus. Uh, one thing, uh, one other thing that I want to work on before we call it quits for today, I need a better sword. Um, I, I have this sword, which is smite, looting, unbreaking, sweeping edge, blah, blah, blah. It's our undead slayer. We've had it for a while. Um, we got our arachna slayer also, but I'd like to get just a, a regular old sharpness uh, a regular old sharpness sword. So let's give me a couple of those and let's do one of these. Whoops, that is totally not how I was trying to do that. And then that, and then that. And then let's go pay attention. Let's go pay a visit to our other villagers. Uh, we might need some, we might need some emeralds. And we also might need, 
some books. Do I have books in here? I do not have books in there. I do not have books in there. I think I might have books over in, I might have books over here. So that should be fine. Should be fine. I hope it's fine. We're gonna find out if it's fine. I have to tear all this rail out because, ow, that hurt. Uh, all right, so you, oh, hey, yeah, you, can I interest you in some lighting? Yes, please. And you in some lighting also, and then down here. All these spaces where the villagers were, that's got to go away. Uh, all right, so what books do you have? You need uh, na -na 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 feather falling. Knockback might be okay. Uh, fortune 2, I also have, you also have a mending book. So that's going to be one that we're going to absolutely want. You have infinity and channeling, and that's it. You have sweeping edge, unbreaking, and thorns. Sweeping edge is one that we're probably gonna want. What do you have? You have efficiency two and projectile protection. So you guys are all basically worthless. What do I have in my, uh, in my enchanted book selection uh, that I can use for actual, uh, like actual, Make a, so knockback two could be good. Unbreaking. I'm gonna want unbreaking for sure. What well, sharpness three? I need a sharpness five book. Can I get a sharpness five book? There's sharpness three. So if I put a sharpness three and a sharpness three together, there's a sharpness four. Piercing, piercing, sharpness three. So two sharpness threes will give me at with sharpness four, and that'll give me a sharpness five. Uh, also, we need power one, efficiency, not efficiency. Sharpness three, piercing, protection, feather falling. So, I need unbreaking. There's unbreaking three and mending. Oh, that's a bow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, yeah, I need an unbreaking book. And then sharpness. So, let's put this into aha sharpness five that's exactly the book that i want and then sweeping edge three maybe and knockback two and knockback two can i combine those does that does that make a knockback three book i don't know if knockback three is a thing it is oh no it's not knockback two knockback two yeah so it's just knockback two so that's cool See, you learn something new every day watching my channel. You guys probably already knew that, but uh, but it is what it is. All right, so what is the base enchant that I can get on here? Knockback, knockback, sharpness. I don't think I care about any of that. So let's grab some lapai. And, uh, and let's go ahead and put sharpness five. Where's that sharpness five book? There's the sharpness five book. So sharpness five, done. That means that I can get rid of several of these books so that one that one that one that leaves sweeping edge three i don't want bane of arthropods no no bane of arthropods knockback two so we're going to put knockback on it uh so you and you knockback two yes please and then did i have a sweeping edge book didn't i have a sweeping edge villager I thought I had a sweeping edge. Oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's make that go away. I thought I had a sweeping edge book, because sweeping edge is definitely an enchant that I want, and, and I'd like to be able to get it updated, but I don't want Bane of Arthropods. I don't want Smite. I have a good Smite sword. So, so you are sweeping edge one. Unbreaking. Oh, I also need unbreaking on it too, don't I? That only has, yeah, that does not have an unbreaking on it. Infinity, channeling. Oh, do you have other books? No. It's fortune 2. We do need mending, so let's go ahead and get that book. That's important. Feather falling. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I didn't have a good sharp, or a good sweeping edge book. I guess I do not. I also need to find out if I have any other books anyplace else. Um, so we have some levels. Let's go ahead and put mending on this. And then I guess the only other major one that we need, again, was sweeping edge and unbreaking. Pretty sure I don't have an unbreaking. There's an unbreaking one. Power, 
or smite fire. Fire might be okay. Sharpness three. Yeah. All right. All right. So. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and put uh, mending on this so that at least we know it's not going to break. And we're going to call this, uh, what are we going to call this book? We're going to call this, um, let's see. We're going to call this, we're going to call this exactly what it is. It's going to be Excalibur. Excalibur. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so sharpness five, knockback two, mending, and then we'll put, uh, we'll try to get unbreaking for it as well, and that should be, uh, that should be a pretty decent sword. But now that it's, oh, and sweeping edge too. I think we can get sweeping edge for it. Um, let's go. You know what? Let's go check the fish farm. If there's nothing at the fish farm, then then it is what it is. But we'll go check the fish farm real quick, and then that'll probably wrap up the episode for today. Because I am, uh, I've been trying for a little while now to get this episode out, but um, there's been so many things that I've been trying to get done that uh, that I haven't had a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of time to record. But we should be getting pretty close on time anyway. So. We'll go over here to the fish farm, we'll check it out, we'll see if there's any books over here. I don't believe that there are. Oh, you know what? In my ender chest, I might have some books. I might have some books in my ender chest, because I did do a clean out over here, and I don't know that I ever put those books away. So we'll check my ender chest, too, because i got an ender chest over here that we can, uh, that we can get into and see what all is in there. Yeah, so over here, yeah, like, see, I did a pretty good clean out in here, but... Aha, packed ice, splash potions, glass, potion of fire resistance. Maybe I did clean all of them out. I guess I probably, I guess I probably did. Oh, bummer. Bummer. All right, well, I guess it's going to be time to breed up some more villagers because uh, that's, a, that's a thing. But uh, we do have, uh, we do have this, this fancy new sword and that, as they say, is a good thing. Anyway, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. Uh, we also stream uh, uh, three days a week, uh, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash rb underscore plays. Link for that will be down in the doobly-doo below. And if you are a supporter of the channel, be it a Patreon patron, YouTube channel member, or a Twitch subscriber, you also get access to a couple of servers that I run for my, uh, for my fan base. And the links for those uh, donation sites will be down in the in the comment in the, in the description do we do below as well but once again folks that is all the time here for today thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later <laughs>